Uh, today we are going to discuss the vestibular apparatus. It consists of the semicircular canals and the otolith organs. It is concerned with the maintenance of equilibrium at rest and uh, balance during movement. So let's uh, look at uh, how it is. So since you have seen the, uh, since you have studied the inner ear, uh, you will know how uh, you have the cochlea, right? Uh, cochlea so uh, near the cochlea you have uh, this uh, this uh, this vessel apparatus so that is uh, you have the otolith organs like uh, there is this uh, the sacu so this is sacu and uh, then you have the Uh, utricle and then you have the uh, semicircular canals so semicircular canals are actually aligned in three planes three coaxial planes so it's very difficult to draw you know like So horizontal, vertical, and also in the so so you can see that they are in three planes and at 90 degrees uh, uh, to each other. So so it's basically the horizontal one, uh, anterior one, and posterior one anterior and posterior semicircular canals here um, you have the utricle so that's the utricle and here here you have the sacu so uh, these are the um, these are the components of the uh, vestibular apparatus that is uh, the semicircular canals and the otolith organs. The otolith organs are utricle and sacule. So, um, uh, similar to uh, the similar to the um, inner ear. Like, uh, sorry, similar to the cochlea, the main receptors here are also the inner hair cells. So how, how do they function? <clears throat> so if you look at the autolith organs, uh, the, um, they are uh, uh, meant to sense uh, acceleration in linear direction, while the while the uh, semicircular canals sense uh, rotational acceleration so let's and these are located in the head so they have give us an idea of the position of the head and the body in total so first let's look at the autolith organs <coughs> so if you take the autolith organs utricle and saccule they have hair cells in something known as the macula so, So hair cells uh, of the hair cells of the autolith organs, you know the usual uh, the hair cells how they are. They have the um, you know uh, kinocelium, stereocelium. The principle of uh, how 
they uh, get activated by depolarization is almost the same so i'm not going into that um, so these hair cells are actually Im embedded in a matrix so this is a matrix and in the matrix you have a lot of uh, let me just say sand <laughs> but anyway uh, you have a lot of uh, crystals of calcium carbonate and known as autoliths or autoconia so they are present in this matrix this is actually uh, uh, this will actually help the uh, increasing the effective movement because the weight is at the top of the for example if you have a, a, a filament and you move it it will only bend so much but if you add a but if you add a weight to the filament and if you move it it will bend more like it will bend more so that same concept is happening happening here we have the autoconia or the ear dust or the autoliths so these autoliths will help increase the bending of the hair cells and so uh, in the mac uh, in the saccule uh, the macula is oriented vertically so um, and uh, uh, and in the case of the utricle, it is oriented horizontally. So you can have um, vertical and horizontal. So, so hence the uh, saccule will uh, detect, uh, the saccule detects actually the vertical acceleration. So vertical acceleration. And while utricle will detect the horizontal acceleration horizontal acceleration because of the alignment of the hair cells so and uh, mm, so in the semicircular canals what will happen is that the semicircular canals if you look here you can see that they have a swelling at the bottom so that's known as the ampulla and uh, inside uh, the ampulla you have again you have the hair cells of the uh, uh, of the semicircular canals so again you have in the ampulla you have hair cells So in this whole apparatus is known as a, so it, there is a projection in the ampulla that's known as a cristata cristae ampullaris and this uh, in this case the hair cells are actually embedded embedded in something uh, known as the cupola so it's like a gelatinous mass cupola it's like a gelatinous mass into which this uh, hair cells are untapped and there are no autoliths in this and so here what happens is that uh, when uh, when our head rotates in you know circular direction uh, the hair cells also get bent and so we can we are able to uh, you are able to uh, sense those uh, uh, sense the uh, accelerations in the different rotations in the different planes so uh, so if the horizontal uh, we have a horizontal one semicircular canal so that will sense the rotation in that plane like that similarly you can have rotation in different planes so